तो स्केल्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट फोर नॉमिनल ऑर्डिनल इंटरवल एंड रेशियो इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट वॉट स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट विल बी इफ इट इज जेंडर एज मेल और फीमेल सो दैट्स ऑलवेज नॉमिनल सो रैंक मीन्स देर इज सम ऑर्डर टू इट सो इट विल बी ऑर्डिनल ऑर्डिनल स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट हैज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सो द प्रीवियस लेवल इज नॉमिनल सो इट हैज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉमिनल सो फॉर नॉमिनल स्केल विच इज जस्ट अ नेम we cannot do arithmetic operations data obtained from nominal scale so it can be numeric or non numeric for example a student name is non numeric it is text but a student id is numeric statistical inference so it is the process of drawing inference about the population based on the information taken from the sample a portion of the population selected to represent the population so that is a sample on average there are 17 accidents per day so average number of accidents is an example it's always an example of descriptive statistics process of analyzing sample data to draw conclusions about characteristics of a population is statistical inference numerical value such as mean is sample statistic mu is example of population parameter so greek alphabets are generally used for population parameters difference between largest and smallest that is called range if a data set has even number of observations then median is the average value of the two middle items when all items are arranged in ascending or descending order so they should be first put in order and then only you can find the median the value which has half the observations above and half below is median variance is 64 then standard deviation is the square root of the variance so if s square is 64 then s will be 8 the numerical value of standard deviation can never be negative it can be zero if all the values are equal then it will be zero but it can never be negative if two groups of numbers have same mean so none of these it can be anything so variance of population is sigma square the probability distribution showing the probability of x success in n trials so this is binomial distribution continuous random variable may assume any value in an interval so this looks like correct answer weight of an object is an example of weight is always continuous if you are conducting an experiment where probability of success is 0.02 and you are interested in probability of four success in 15 trials the correct probability is binomial in textile industry manufacturer is interested in number of blemishes or flaws occurring in each 100 feet of material this is poisson distribution poisson probability distribution is used with a discrete random variable so binomial and poisson are discrete random variables p is given 0.02 n is given and what is the probability that sample contains exactly two defectives probability of x equals 2 so equals 2 x is 2 sample size is 5 and probability is 0.02 and because we are calculating exactly a 2 we say false so we get 0.0037 so expected number of cups of coffee so let's uh, do this in excel so this total is 2500 so we can calculate p values this divided by 2500 and then i can drag this and we can have x times p so equals x times this So 
I double click when this thin plus sign appears to get all other numbers. And then when we add, we get 1.2. So that 1.2 is the average. Probability that peat will catch fish is 0.8, goes for fishing three days. So what is the probability that peat will catch fish on one day or less? So probability of x less than equal to 1. So remember n equals 3 and p equals 0 0.8. So equals binomial distribution so 1x less than equal to 1 means I put 1 here trials is 3 0.8 and because it is less than equal to 1 we say true so 0 0.104 variance of number of days Pete will catch fish so variance for a binomial distribution or s square is given as n times p times 1 minus p 3 times 0 0.8 times 1 minus p so 0.48 So in binomial experiment, P is 0 0.006. What is the probability of two success in seven trials? So probability of X equals two, where N is seven and P is 0 0.06. So once again, binomial distribution, X equals two, so two here n is 7, p e is 0 0.06 and because we are calculating exactly at 2, so we would say false. 0 0.055 So expected number of machine breakdowns per month. So for that we have to multiply these two columns. So let's uh, delete this. So now we have x and p, and then we create x times p and do the total to get the final answer. So 0. So this equals x times p. So I double click and then add. I get 1.7. The probability of at least three breakdowns in a month. So at least three means three and above. So we add these two, we get 0.25. So we don't have 0.25 here. So this there's a typo, this should be 0.25. Probability of no breakdowns. So this is no breakdowns is 0.12. What is the sample in this survey? So sample is 2000. Based on the sample, what percentage of population would you think is in favor of gun control? So this is 56%. We use the sample to talk about the population. That's what is called statistical inference. Now, based on the sample, what percentage of the population would you think have no opinion on the subject? So, no opinion is 4%. Sample of 9 mothers. So, this is the data available. So, let's put this data in Excel. So, suppose this is some random variable x. And we have 3, 12, 4, 7, 14, 6, 2, 9, and 11. So to calculate average, the formula is average equals average. And then you select this entire column, close the bracket. That's the average. Calculate the standard deviation for this data. And then variance is square of this. So equals 
this number and then you square it. So that's the variance. Median. So median and then you select this column. So select this column, close the bracket, you get the median. Range equals max of this data set minus minimum of this data. So this gives you all the five summaries. 36, 32% P equals 0.32. A random sample of five students, so N is five, exactly two. So let's use binomial distribution. So equals exactly two means two, sample size five, 0.32 and false because we are calculating exactly a 2. So the answer is 0.32. So this one is 0.32. So 8 patients per hour. So this is Poisson distribution. What is the probability that during next hour, less than 3 patients will be admitted? Equals Poisson. And we are looking at less than 3 means less than equal to 2. So I will we'll put 2 here. Average is 8 patients and because we are talking about less than equal to, we have to use true. 0.01375. So A is this. B, what is the probability that during the next 2 hours, exactly 8 patients and this is next 2 hours. So please make a note of that, exactly two patients. So let's uh, solve this using Poisson. And X is exactly eight. Now in one hour we have eight patients. So in two hours we'll have 16. So I would put 16 and false. Twenty-five percent is given. Sample size of seven is given. Exactly four minorities. So exactly four. N is seven. P is 0.25. And because it is exactly four, we say false. So 0 0.05768. Next one, less than two minorities. So less than two means less than equal to one. So we can say binomial distribution and less than or equal to 1. So we put 1 here. This is still 7. This is still 0.25. And because it is less than or equal to 1, we say true. C, exactly 1 non-minority. So equals exactly 1 n is still 7 and non-minority means remaining 75% because 25% is minority. So this will be 0.75 and false. Expected number of minorities. So this is n times p. So you know n 7 and p is 0.25 so this equals 7 times 0.25 variance n times p times 1 minus p 120 per hour what is the probability of exactly 5 within 5 minute interval so this is a poisson distribution so if in 60 minutes you have 120 then in 5 minutes you will have 10 in 5 minutes equals Poisson, exactly 5 means 5 here, mean will be 10 because if 120 people come in 1 hour, then 10 shoppers are expected in 5 minutes and false. 
the next one is at least 35 so 35 or more probability of x greater than equal to 35 so this is same as 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 34 and now it is in 10 minutes so you have 20 shoppers average average now is 20 and true average of nine claims what is the probability of exactly seven claims so exactly seven claims so equals y zone seven claims average is nine and because it is exactly seven we say false similarly no claims equals y zone no claims average is 9 and false less than 4 means less than equal to 3 so equals y zone 3 average is 9 and because it is less than equal to we say true at least 18 claims so that means 18 or more so you have to do 1 minus and it becomes 17 so equals 1 minus 17 9 and true 